Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm working on this aligning text. And I started thinking about another way you could do it. Bring in an indexing line, and first of all, have your duplicate distance set on zero, zero. And we've already got this one the way we want it. So I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of that line, control D. And then I'm going to make that duplicate, and I'm going to have it snap to the bottom of that. And then I'm just going to control D again and keep controlling D till it gets way up into the other letters and the ones that have sixes. So we're going to do this. So now this should be perfect. And this one is grouped together. So we could bring it down and have it snap to that line. Now this is a little bit more manual and we could have our nudge factor set pretty low, 0 0.001 and take this group and just nudge it down to that bottom line. Now it doesn't matter. And we're, so we're skipping a line between our paragraphs. Now this one we haven't done yet or I backed up enough where it wasn't done. So you could just take these letters and skip a line and have it, see it's snapping to the bottom of that G. So we need to just move it down, and if you zoom in, you can get it really close, and then just have this one do the same thing, and you can override that. And don't worry about the left or right right now. A lot of times if you go past, now the advantage of doing it this way, and I'm not saying that this is the best way, but when you have a line, and if you didn't watch the first video, we can always take all these and left justify them. But on the lines that had six, we were having to count or the five line. And let's take the five line and let's move it over here for a second. So we've got a reference point that's equal to all of them. Let's just move this down. And we actually, this one we did with the other way. So it's perfect. So my theory of measuring worked. Now this one we have not done. So we're gonna do the same thing with the one that has six lines. And we might be able to use line and distribute on this and to see if it works. But it gives you a reference point and actually a space between the lines. And I, by no means, I mean this is perfect. And now let's, Put this line in, so you won't have to do every one of these lines. Just put that line there, put that line there, put this line up to above that one, and we want this line, whoop, I skewed that a little bit. So we're gonna put this line and nudge it to this. And then we can still use our L, put it left justified, open up the docker again for align and distribute and align these, I think we'll use this one right here. And now it put it all of them on the indexing line. So we know we're right. And then when you move this over, I would just control G it and move this to this top line. And if I had made a, enough lines and we're dead on with that, so let's say we're gonna use these four and we're forgetting about that one. We're gonna see if this is grouped together, and it is. So everything's grouped together. So just kind of double check, get the line and distribute again, and align them, and they move, because I didn't, I must not have had this one grouped Yep, this one's not grouped. Control G. All of them are grouped now. So they should not move. They did not move. So we're good to go. And then that way you've got a good spacing for your paragraph and you would just need to insert that five in there. Anyway, not for sure that's the best way but it is one way and, and might save you a little bit of time. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.